माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स बो डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन गणेश मंत्र Let us bring our attention on our left heart. Jamata ji, by your grace, I am a pure. kindly bless us with divine unconditional love in our attention on sahasara you are the goddess of sahasara and establish our self realization bless us with complete peace and balance let us listen to shimata ji speech it's the way you cannot get out of your sleep in the same way as sajogi cannot get out of his meditative mood it's so enjoyable you want to be there So one of the signs that you are not yet anywhere near Sajoga is that if you cannot enjoy your 
meditation. I mean, imagine if you enjoy a television show or anything, you have to see it, isn't it? You cannot just say, all right, I am sleeping now and I am enjoying the television. So you have to be awakened to it. But that awakening is within. And there you see your own connection. It's a joy that I cannot describe really. I, there's only one word for that is niran. And we say just niran is only the joy, absolute joy. And who would like to give up the joy for what? For a cake or for a tea or this? I mean, just think of it. The joy is so deep, so intense, so beautiful. I don't know what else to say. You have not tasted the ambrosia. The Raja would have said as if the Ambrosia is trickling down on your tongue, it's like that, the taste of it. <clears throat> but what I find, that the depth we have not touched, which is within us, all of you have that depth, that not, that you don't have. I have not given you realization because you are just there, here, because you have that depth within you. You are special people with that depth, but you haven't touched it, it shows you haven't touched it. <clears throat> Supposing it's like a well full of water, but you are still dangling somewhere in the middle, you haven't yet touched that depth, because once you get into that, you get completely drenched and lost. But if that is not the situation, that shows that you are still somewhere dangling in between and any time you can come high and dry. So you have to judge yourself. This is the time for you to judge. You are in connection with Christ. He achieved His resurrection by which we have to achieve our resurrection. But what have we done to achieve that resurrection which He has achieved? He intensely lived a life of complete sacrifice and complete concentration towards one goal that he has to achieve the resurrection. Nothing else was important to him. All that attention was on one thing, that I have to achieve this resurrection, I have to get crucified and I have to be resurrected because the whole world has to be resurrected. But Sahaja Yogis, I don't know how many think that way, how many think that dedication is needed. And the best part of it, that is so joy-giving, every step you move forward is so joy-giving. The sinking in that well is so very joy-giving. It's not painful. Don't have to crucify yourself. Don't have to carry the cross. He's done it for you. So what do you sacrifice? Is your laziness. When it comes to the satisfaction of ego, people are overactive. They are like bullets then. And when it is the satisfaction of their physical comfort, they become, I don't know, we had one Rakshasa called Kumbhakarna, who used to sleep for six months and used to be awake six 
months. But here I see people sleep for twelve months. What do you call them? <clears throat> then they say, Mother, we can't keep awake. Why? Because you are not meditating. You are not one with Christ. Then his agya he controls. With that agya, he cannot sleep. If his blessings are there on the agya, you cannot sleep. You won't believe with the slightest light, artificial light especially. I can't sleep because still Christ is awake and I have to be awake. So you have to be awakened to this fact that we are surgeons. We have a special responsibility as our connection with Christ is. Our main responsibility is all the time intensely to think what we can do for the betterment of human beings. And what are we doing about it? First I used to say, count your blessings, because that was the best way to make people understand that there are blessings in such Now I would say, count your deeds. What have you done for Sajo? Sajo has done so much for you. To say that Param Chaitanya will look after is absolutely absurd. If Param Chaitanya could do everything, why should it create human beings? One Adam and Eve were sufficient. You have to do it. Unless and until you become deep, it cannot trigger, it is helpless. It's only through you it is going to work out. Now, if there is no instrument, electricity cannot work, can it? Now, you should say the electricity itself must come before me and must do everything. You have to have the instrument and you are the instrument and if you do not want to do it, how can Param Chaitanya do it? It will be something like saying, as I told you, that let electricity do the job, it will not have any instrument. Can I work it out? Can you work it out? So Paramachaitanya has its own style. It can only work if you people want to work it out. It's an energy and you are the instrument. But the instrument is more busy with the job, with the family, I don't know, all kinds of nonsensical things. Now supposing this instrument which is meant for my lecture forgets what it is and acts like a ladle in the kitchen because it's fond of food, say, for example. Then what's the use of making this useless instrument? It doesn't do what it has to do. It doesn't know what it has been made for. It has no purpose at all. It's such a useless stuff. So I feel there's a kind of a lethargy, kind of a very subtle lethargy working out. Like this, that we've done our job, let the young people do it now.
you are matured and the matured have to do the job we have done our level best what have you done so far so much to be done still and some or other i don't know we have to touch that area where such people remain like the yesterday's player he is not doing god's work he is an artist and he is working so hard to achieve perfection he will get the same amount whether he is perfect or not but he is practicing at all he is listening to it he is trying to develop it all the time working it out so that his performance should be excellent so he is seeking an excellence mediocrity has no place in sahaja only through excellence you will enjoy only through excellence you will really become surgeon otherwise you could be a headache to me and to yourself you would be a headache to surgeons most non progressive destructive element i would say a person is who is not alert you have to be aware aware of your responsibilities so far <clears throat> i have been saying that still the preparation is on they have to correct themselves <clears throat> they have to clear out themselves they have to work it out still their conditionings see but now 20 years have passed and be aware be aware that 21st year is going to be a very big jump i'm warning you again and again and again and again and you have to work very hard to develop yourself vertically in balance with your horizontal growth it's not my lecture for entertainment or anything but should go to your heart to your brain to your being as this is very important and you are not going to waste it all the time you have to think that you are a sajogi and you have to know what you have to do in such way and how to achieve it you should not be satisfied unless and until you achieve that excellence that's the very important crucial point today i wanted to tell you because today is easter day which was a very crucial point for the development or the growth of the spirit because sastrara we could never have achieved if agya was blocked christ could have said all right let parama chaitanya do it let parama chaitanya get itself fanged why should i do it he had to do it and he was the instrument and he's done it so sahaja yoga is not only for exploiters if you try just to exploit sahaja yoga you'll be exploited too 
but it is for the exploitation of joy. But that's only possible if you grow, you touch your depth. If you are not deep enough, you will hang in the air, as I said. And that has to be worked out, that has to be found out. How best you can do it, how much you can reach people, how many people you can give realization, how many people you are going to help improve their health, their mental conditions, and then how much you are going to talk about such. So that is going to work out what I call the collective ascent of human beings. May God bless you.
Shimata Ji for this beautiful collective meditation. Thank you very much. Yes, Shimata Ji. Let's bow down to Shimata Ji and take Bandhan. 